Welcome to stage one production softwares and in this stage we're going to be looking at the different type of production softwares out there and which one in particular we're going to be using in this course to actually teach us the exact things we need to know about music production and ways in order to create your music in order to create your music. So um, what are production softwares? Production softwares can be defined as um, a digital audio workspace which allows you to create audio sound, beats, instrumental, MIDI, whatever idea you have, whatever musical ideas you have, it allows you to create them in your own unique way. And you can also define it in a, in a kind of a shorter way as the, the paper, the paint brushes, and the paint itself. It's like the instrument in, in which you use to create, to expand your creativity, to lay out your creativity to the world, to showcase your creativity to the world so people can actually see and enjoy what you make. So there are mainly three different types of um, digital audio workstation and you can you can literally categorize them into different categories. You have the audio recordable which allows you to record only audios and you have the instrumental, the ones that allows you to re record beats and you have the audio and instrumental digital audio workstation which allows you to record audio and instrumental parallel to one another. So these three types are the major types of the digital audio workstation we're going to be dealing with right now and they come in a software in a software form and most of the times they're mainly in a software form and um, for the audio recordable you can see that we have um, a few listed right there we have audacity audio recorded pro and wavepad and these allows you to record your vocals and for the instrumental and beat, we have one listed there, which is the propeller head reason. It's kind of um, it's kind of one of them ones that's been out there for a while. I've knew about I knew about this um, since I was in school, so it's it's been quite a long time. Um, reason has been out there, and I've used this before, but I would I wouldn't recommend it for um, for beginners when you're starting off because it's kind of a, a bit difficult to get a grasp of. Um, so there is a list of the type of um, digital audio workstation you can find out there and we're going to be looking at each one of them one by one and exactly how they, how they interact with industry. So what, what happens is that I've left down uh, this uh, presentation just below, below this video. You can click on the link and download it and read through it. But for this video's sake, I'm keeping it short. I'm just going to skip through them. And let you see exactly the different type of um, digital audio workstation that are out there. So we're gonna go with with this free listed right here, the Alberton Live and the Image Line Fruity Loops and Apple Logic um, Logic Pro. So these are actually major standards in the, standards in the industry. But in our case, we're gonna be looking into Image Line because Image Line gives us the ability to actually. Um, work on our sounds, work on our beats, and also give us a recordable um, interface to use. But the recordable interface is not mainly used for recording um, uh, major songs in the industry. In fact, I wouldn't recommend using it to record um, your audio sounds, but you can, always, you can use it if you want to. It actually does what other software does as well. I've seen people using it in the studio. Um, some artists, major artists, actually use it to record a song, but I would personally not use it. I normally use Logic Pro to record my vocals. And I make the beats on the Fruity Loops. I take them into Logic Pro. I make a complete song right there. I mix it right there. I master the song, the entire song on Logic Pro. But for this um, course sake, we're going to be looking into Fruity Loops because it's pretty much easy for beginners. Anyone can literally use FL Studio. So if you have an idea in your head, in your mind right there, you can always put it out on FL Studio. And also we have the Habit um, Pro Tools. Pro Tools very, very unique, um, unique um, DAW, a digital audio work um, workstation. And it actually allows you to work in a very very industrial standard and it's very very beautiful you know it's very beautiful in the way it works and it's just right there for the professionals to use you have the um, Apple garage band you have the Sonic I said you have um, Cubase I've used that before and you have the Kokoros um, Reaper you have the Pro and um, Pre Sonos um, Studio and 
as I said before, what we're going to be using for this course is um, FL Studio. So we'll be using um, FL Studio to actually learn how to make beats and actually how to mix the beats and stuff like that. So what we're going to do um, now is actually go and actually see how we can get the FL Studio. Obviously, it comes with a cost. Um, depending on what license you want, um, the cost varies. But you can always get a demo version to work with. But the only downside to the demo version is that you cannot save your files that you're working on. So you can make a beat on there and just export it and get it out as a song. But you cannot save it because you're using the... Uh, the demo version but the best part of it is that if you're using a professional version getting a professional license like I do you can always get free lifetime updates so every time that a new FL Studio comes up you get a free lifetime update you don't need to pay again like every other software that once a new version comes up you have to pay a certain fee to get that FL Studio gives you that for free so that's a very big thumb up for um, thumbs up for FL Studio guys you guys are wonderful you did an amazing job right there and um, as I said already, um, we're going to be using FL Studio, and you get the lifetime free updates. Now, about the information as you've been seeing so far from right here, literally most of this information are not mine. I just copied and pasted them from an online reputable source, and you can always read more information from their website. Thank you guys for actually uh, posting this information online, allowing me to use them and uh, I'm grateful for that so you guys can always go onto their websites and check out more information about any software that you want to know about so I have put them down in the reference part you can see them I reference them out nicely for you in a very nice style so you can actually see them and go to these websites and read more about the information from there so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna take you down to um, how to get the FL Studio 12 and see how to work with it so FL Studio 12 is pretty new pretty new right there out there so what we're gonna do now is I just open a new new window and I'm gonna type in FL Studio 12 you guys can get this right now for free and you can work with it right now so I'm gonna go for a second result just because I've clicked on it before so it's gonna bring you down to this nice page you're gonna see right here uh, image line FL studio and um, you can see right here they have a very nice interface on the website showing exactly what FL studio can do and there's a Mac version coming on very soon I think uh, yes actually the Mac version is already out because I've used it one time in my studio um, I used it with Wine. There's a program uh, on Mac called Wine. It allows you to run any software, any computer software on the Mac and stuff like that. But um, also, FL Studio already, they already have like a, a Mac version already out, out there. So, and they have already have a, a tablet version as well if you want to use that. So, to download FL Studio, you just simply go to download and it's going to load up on. Um, you know if you're using a PC or if you're using a PC exactly where to download it from you can just go right here and get it from the Google Drive the Google Drive and stuff the website and what it does is it just gives you a download and once you click on download the download should begin it's gonna do virus scan yes download anyway and the download has now begun and it's about uh, roughly about six and um, 617 megabytes so that's not too big um, so what you want to do is leave that up there to download you can flip through the website and see to gather more information about it if you want to buy it straight ahead be my guest I would actually recommend you going to buy it right now because that way you can follow the course completely and you don't have to leave your computer on you can save you can get the save feature as well to save your files so if you go to their shop um, you can see right here different type of version of FL Studio that you can get so um, they have the normal the fruity edition which is a very light edition edition of it and it's just 80 89 um, euros and um, that's pretty not too much it's probably about roughly about um, if we're looking into dollars, just let me go into conversion and get that up. So 
So we probably look for heroes of We look for heroes for pounds first. So if you're in the UK, um, you can always um, get that for about 76.62 uh, pounds. Um, yes, and then if you're in a, if you're in the states, you see how much you can get that for. You can always get that for 99.31, so roughly about hundred dollars. For the fruity edition, I personally have the producer ed producer edition. Uh, you can get that as well, um, depending on what you want or depending on how, how professional you want to go up. All of these have different bundles in there, and um, that way you have um, you have different things to work with. And one thing I just noticed about the fruity edition is that you don't have the no audio recording, so you cannot record audios with it. Um, and you have a limited playlist feature, so I wouldn't recommend that. I recommend getting um, the producer edition from 189 um, euros. That that's per perfect. And if you want to go all in, you know, with all the plugins and everything, you should get the um, all plugins edition, which is 677. So, guys, I recommend you download that for the rest from the website. As you can see right now, it's downloaded, and because I already have mine already, I've already got an FL Studio. Once you download it, it's pretty much simple to install. Um, I'm just going to click on show in folder and it's going to be right here, uh, right there. And what you just need to do is just double click and once you double click it, um, the rest is easy. It's pretty, you just follow the instructions straightforward and it's going to ask you to run FL Studio and you just run it. And then once you run it, it's going to open up for you something like this. It's going to open up this is my Apple Studio. Just click on it. It's gonna open up something like this for you, and just waiting for it to load up. And it's gonna look something like this with the save uh, and with this feature and everything. Obviously, I have my Apple Studio licensed already, so I have most of the features of the producer edition uh, right there. So I don't need to worry about everything, but. Basically, what you do is just download that, install that, and open it up. And once you've opened it up, just click on the next video and watch exactly what I do from there on. And you're going to start learning exactly how to make music beats and instrumentals. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, I'm going to see you in the next video. If you have any questions, leave a comment below or send me a message through support, and I'll get back to you on that. And um, if you ever need anything, you can always speak in the bio on the weekly webinars or the bi weekly webinars, depending on what plans you have. And um, if you need anything, just send a message to support, and I'll be there to answer your questions. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.